the need for a modern, efficient narrowbody aircraft led to the development of the Boeing 757, which succeeded the Boeing 727. Its development began in March 1979, following significant orders from British Airways and Eastern Airlines. The aircraft was designed to operate on both domestic and transcontinental routes, incorporating advanced materials and a fuel-efficient twin-engine configuration. The first flight occurred on February 19, 1982, and it entered service on January 1, 1983, with Eastern Airlines. Initially, sales were slow due to market conditions in the 1980s. However, by the late 1980s, demand surged as airlines sought to replace aging fleets of Boeing 707s and DC-8s. Popular for its versatility, the 757 served not only as a passenger aircraft, but also adapted for cargo transport and special missions, including government use as a VIP transport. Introduced in 1989 as a medium-range, narrow-body jet airliner to compete with the Boeing 757, the Tupolev Tu-214 is a derivative of the Tu-204. The plane features enhancements such as increased fuel capacity and structural adjustments for higher gross weight operations. Russia has primarily utilized it for both passenger and special mission roles. Recent geopolitical events have prompted a revival of Russian interest in the plane. In response to international sanctions following the Russo-Ukrainian war, Russia is ramping up production to reduce reliance on foreign aircraft. This modernization effort aims to improve competitiveness in both domestic and international markets. Domestic airlines were the primary target for both these Boeing and Tupolev medium-range models. Originally designed for short to medium-haul passenger routes, the Boeing 757 later underwent modifications for cargo and VIP transport. Major U.S. airlines sought effective substitutes for their outdated aircraft models. The Tu-214 was designed for both passenger and special mission flights. The design placed significant emphasis on Russian domestic airlines and government operations. The, the Boeing 757 has played a crucial role in shaping modern airline operations with its efficiency and versatility. The aircraft's design innovations contributed to advancements in aviation technology and operational economics within the U.S. airline industry. The Tu-214 represents an effort by Russia to bolster its domestic aviation capabilities amidst international sanctions. Its success is vital for reducing dependency on Western aircraft manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus and thereby enhancing Russia's strategic autonomy in aviation technology. The Boeing 757 is a narrow-body, twin-engine jet airliner known for its efficiency and versatility. The aircraft measures approximately 47.3 meters in length, with a wingspan of 37.6 meters. Its maximum takeoff weight can reach up to 115,700 kilogram, allowing it to accommodate a typical passenger capacity of 200 to 239 seats in a two-class configuration. Pratt & Whitney PW2040 or Rolls-Royce RB211 engines power the Boeing 757, giving it an impressive range of approximately 7,250 kilometers. The cockpit features advanced glass displays and modern avionics, enhancing operational efficiency and safety. In contrast, the Tupolev Tu-214 is also a narrow-body, twin-engine jet airliner, but it has some notable differences in design and specifications. It is slightly longer at approximately 49.7 meters and has a larger wingspan of 47.9 meters. Its maximum takeoff weight is up to 110,750 kilograms, with a passenger capacity typically ranging from 164 to 215 seats, depending on the configuration. The aircraft has a range of up to 8,000 kilometers, which can vary based on the load. Aviat Vigatel PS90A engines power it, and its more modern cockpit boasts advanced navigation systems. When comparing the two aircraft side by side, several key differences become apparent. The Boeing 757 has a length of 155 feet and a wingspan of 124 feet, while the Tu-214 measures 163 feet in length with a wingspan of 157 feet. Although the maximum takeoff weight of the Boeing 757 is higher at up to 255,000 pounds, compared to the Tu-214's maximum of 244,000 pounds, both aircraft are designed for medium-range operations with similar passenger capacities. 
The Boeing 757 offers a range of approximately 3,915 nautical miles, while the TU-214 extends it up to 4,300 nautical miles. Several unique features differentiate the TU-214 from the Boeing 757. One notable aspect is its wider cabin, which provides slightly more space for passenger comfort and seating arrangements. Additionally, the TU-214's design allows for higher maximum takeoff weights in specific configurations, making it capable of carrying more payload under certain conditions. The aircraft's wing design incorporates a higher aspect ratio and advanced winglets aimed at improving aerodynamic efficiency and reducing drag. The TU-214 also features high landing gear that facilitates operations from shorter runways and enhances ground clearance. While both aircraft utilize turbofan engines, the TU-214 typically employs the more advanced PS-90A variant of Aviad Vigital engines, which offer improved fuel efficiency and reliability. Furthermore, its structural design and engine performance enable the Tupolev model to operate with flexibility in diverse environments and effectively handle a variety of payloads. The Boeing 757-200 boasts a range of approximately 7,250 kilometers, while the 757-300 has a slightly shorter range of about 6,295 kilometers. In comparison, the TU-214's range varies depending on the load. For instance, with a maximum commercial load of 20,760 kilograms, it can cover around 5,200 kilometers. However, reducing the load to 11,110 kilograms allows the aircraft to extend its range to approximately 7,200 kilometers. This indicates that while the TU-214 can achieve longer ranges under lighter loads, it generally does not match the Boeing 757's capabilities for heavier passenger configurations. In terms of fuel efficiency, the Boeing 757 is known for its effective aerodynamic design and advanced engines that contribute to lower operational costs. Although, reports suggest that the TU-214's Aviadvigital PS-90A engines provide better fuel efficiency than earlier models, they still fall short of the Boeing 757's engines in terms of efficiency. Although the specific fuel consumption figures are not widely available, they tend to favor the Boeing 757 in terms of overall operational economics. The Boeing 757-200 typically accommodates between 200 and 239 passengers, depending on configuration. Its maximum payload capacity reaches approximately 32,755 kg for cargo versions. In contrast, the TU-214 has a maximum commercial load capacity of around 25,200 kg with passenger configurations that can accommodate between 164 and 215 seats. While the TU-214 offers flexibility in passenger arrangements, it generally has a lower payload capacity compared to the Boeing 757. Both aircraft have distinct operational limitations influenced by factors such as runway requirements and weather conditions. The Boeing 757 requires a runway length of approximately 6,500 feet for takeoff under standard conditions. Although it optimizes its performance for a variety of airport environments, it may encounter challenges on extremely short or unpaved runways. On the other hand, the TU-214 features higher landing gear that allows it to operate from shorter runways more effectively. However, due to its design and engine characteristics, adverse weather conditions can affect its operational performance. Additionally, despite its ability to handle diverse environments well, factors such as engine reliability and maintenance availability may still limit its overall performance compared to Western aircraft. The current operational status of the Boeing 757 and Tupolev Tu-214 reflects their differing roles in the aviation industry. The Boeing 757 remains a popular choice among major airlines worldwide, with operators like Delta Airlines, United Airlines, and American Airlines continuing to utilize the aircraft for both domestic and international routes. Its reliability and efficiency have solidified its reputation, even as many airlines gradually phase it out in favor of newer models. On the other hand, Russia primarily uses the Tu-214, Airlines such as UVT Aero and S7 Airlines, now operating as Siberia Airlines, have shown interest in integrating the TU-214 into their fleets. 
Russia's efforts to bolster its domestic aviation capabilities will see UVT Aero receive its first Tu-214 aircraft in 2025. The Kazan Aviation Plant is ramping up production, with plans to deliver several units in the coming years as part of a broader strategy to replace foreign aircraft that have become inaccessible due to Western sanctions. Several factors have prevented the Tu-214 from achieving widespread international use, primarily limited production runs and outdated technology, in comparison to Western counterparts like the Boeing 757, have hampered its development. Additionally, geopolitical tensions and sanctions have restricted access to international markets and components necessary for modern aircraft production. Concerns about the aircraft's reliability and performance compared to established Western models have also affected its reputation. Looking ahead, the future prospects of the Tu-214 hinge on several factors. The Kazan Aviation Plant is undergoing significant expansion to enhance production capabilities, with plans to increase output from four aircraft in 2025 to potentially 28 annually by 2030. This ambitious goal reflects strong domestic demand for the Tu-214 as Russian airlines seek to replace aging fleets of Western aircraft. However, the success of the Tu-214 will depend on overcoming challenges related to indigenizing components and ensuring consistent quality in production. Additionally, effective integration into airline operations will be crucial. Airlines must adapt their infrastructure and training programs to accommodate this new aircraft type. With ongoing geopolitical tensions influencing market dynamics, the ability of the Tu-214 to establish itself internationally remains uncertain, but could improve if production targets are met and if it can demonstrate reliability and performance that meets or exceeds current standards in aviation. The Tu-214 holds a significant place in the history of Russian aviation, representing both a continuation of the Tupolev legacy and an adaptation to contemporary geopolitical challenges. Originally developed as a medium-range, wide-body airliner, the Tu-214 has been modified for various roles, including special mission variants like the Tu-214PU and Tu-214SR, which serve as airborne command posts and communications relays for the Russian government. Its versatility has allowed it to replace older aircraft models, such as the IL-22, while also contributing to Russia's strategic military capabilities. The aircraft's development aligns with broader efforts to bolster domestic production in response to international sanctions and reduce reliance on foreign technology, particularly following geopolitical tensions that have intensified since 2022. Looking ahead, the potential for future development and modernization of the Tu-214 is substantial. The Kazan aircraft plant is currently preparing an import-substituted version of the aircraft replacing over 240 components with domestically produced alternatives. This initiative not only aims to enhance Russia's self-sufficiency in aviation, but also seeks to modernize the Tu-214 to meet current market demands and improve its competitiveness against foreign aircraft. The modernization efforts include technical upgrades, increased production capacity, and securing orders from both domestic and international clients. However, these initiatives face challenges such as time constraints, technical complexities, and stiff competition from established global manufacturers. Now, do you think Russia should have started modifying the Tu-214 decades earlier? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.